everybody, Greg Friedrich with Gizmos here. Today we're doing something a little bit different. Instead of working on cars, we got to get back to the basics and build a new workbench. Uh, we've been using Welltable workbenches for a few years now and can't say enough good things about them. The only issue is we don't have enough of them. So we got a new one and they sent it to us, but we got to assemble it. So we're just going to talk about and go over the process of assembling the weld table's welding table. So let's just get into it right away. Really all I needed for tools, I got a dead blow hammer, a flashlight, I got a wrench, some bolts, and then we're going to be TIG welding this today with our Miller welder, and I just got some 70S rod, just a regular steel rod. That's really all I need. It's really simple, but you just got to make sure that you do a good process of it to make sure it's nice and square at the end. All right, so let's talk about what we did when we got this. This showed up on a pallet, and it had oil on it and a little bit of mill scale. So we took it off the pallet, wiped it all down, lacquer thinner, and then we DA'd every part. Now that's going to do a couple things for us. It's going to deburr any edges that might have a little bit of uh, something hanging up from the laser. Also, it's going to let us have a better weld. And then when we're all done with this thing, I'm going to paint the whole bottom of this thing with a good high quality paint and the legs so we don't get any corrosion down the in the future. You know, as you can see on this weld table, it's just bare steel and we don't have any corrosion issues, but the bottom never gets used. So that's why we're going to paint it. So it's all about just prepping and doing a quality job throughout. So keep in mind, I've actually never assembled one of these. This is my first time. I read the instructions, and it seemed pretty simple. But we're doing this together, and I'm just going to throw in my techniques and what I know of fabricating and car building and apply it to building this. Uh, this is all super self-explanatory. It's all tab and slot constructed. These being the tabs. This would be a slot. And it's all going together really easy. Uh, that was amazingly easy, really. And not only that, but there's really like no slop. There's no play on this at all. Really impressive. So now that I have these main structural pieces assembled, I mean, you can see how well it went together. And this is really what high quality American made manufacturing is all about. So the next process is I'm going to take the top of the table, which is now on the bottom and make sure it is tight against our frame structure here. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to use actually their own clamps that we've gotten from weld tables. And I'm just going to kind of suck those two together. And I'm going to check it with our flashlight. So I'm going to use this flashlight along this edge here. And if I see any light pouring through, I'm going to know there's a gap. These clamps came right from weld tables. Awesome. I love them. So I got all the clamps on, and I had to be a little bit more strategic about the clamps than I thought. I had ended up moving some of them around a little bit more. And I also realized I needed a lot of clamps. But I think I got all the clamps in the critical spots, and everything pulled up and pulled together just the way I wanted. All right, so now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to start tack welding things. I'm going to start in the center and work my way out. And keep in mind, we're going to TIG weld this using our Miller Dynasty, and I'm just tacking to start with, working our way out. All right, so the reason we're starting on the inside and working our way out is because if you're a welder, you understand that anytime you weld anything, it's going to pull on you. And the idea of these workbenches is to be a nice, flat, true surface when we're done. So if you weld it properly, it will continue to be flat. If you were to say start in this corner and work that way, 
I can about guarantee it's going to warp on you and start pulling. And when you're, by the time you get to that side, you're going to have air gaps and you're going to have to cut all your tacks and start over. So just like building cars or whatever you're doing, you got to keep that in mind. Uh, now weld tables, I believe they want us to tack weld this structure altogether first, this whole inner structure, before we tack weld to the top of the work table. And also before we do the sides. So we're gonna do the center part, then we'll do the four sides, and then we'll do the actual top, which is at this point on the bottom. Was jumping around, I do one corner and then I do that opposite mating corner and then jump way over here, do the same thing over there. That just helps even out all the pulling, keep everything nice, square, and true. So, again, this is exactly what weld tables recommended. And I was trying to go around that just because of the hassles of having to cut down threaded rod tightening them with a wrench, which really isn't that big of a hassle. So here we are anyways doing that. Okay, that took care of it. That took care of it. Now we're looking really good. So speaking of tacking, that's what we're going to do now. We're going to tack the inner structure to the outer structure. All right, so we're going to be using, where the tab and slots come together, this area here to tack. Nice thing about this Miller welder is the remote pedal. One less wire to have to get tangled up in and deal with as you're moving around on these projects like this. As I'm going around, I'm kind of bringing clamps with me and putting a couple extra on. I don't think it needs it, but it's just more peace of mind. Uh, everything looks really good, but I'm just in those areas, I'm just making sure everything is super snug and tight. It's really important that we continue to do a really high quality job, seeing how we have a high quality piece to start with. structure tacked to our outer framework and now I'm going to put these plates in. Ideally, it's my understanding they wanted the plates in prior, but I wanted to be able to see these inside corners and with the plates in I think that would have hindered it. Um, and again, we just got tacks on there. If this did become an issue, I could cut those tacks. So 
So not only do these corners really help tell you if this thing's square and true and everything, but this is where our legs are going to connect to. So remember, this thing's upside down. So our legs are going to bolt to this once it's all done. And you'll notice this little radius here, the other corners don't have that. And that goes to the outside. And again, we're just using that dead blow to tap it in there. So as I tack these together, I'm going to utilize some of these clamps just to make sure they're pushed all the way down. I'll double check with our straight edge both ways. And we'll throw a couple tacks on there. All right, now we've got all four plates tacked on, um, the inside edges and the outside edges. So each plate is tacked in two spots on each side. And again, we're jumping back and forth to eliminate any kind of issues. So now what we're going to do, we're going to take all these clamps off, flip it over, and then again, tack weld the top side, starting in the middle, working our way out. Now we got the tabletop flipped over right side right, and we're going to check it and make sure it's straight. So the way I'm going to check it, I've got the surface ground straight edge. Now most people probably don't have a surface ground straight edge in their, in their shop. And that's fine. You can use, you know, like a level. Anything that's straight. So I already went ahead and checked it in every way, diagonally, widthways, lengthwise, and this thing's dead on, it's perfect. Now I'm going to just tack this. I'm going to start in the middle, work my way out. I'm going to tack the whole thing. I'm going to check it again. Everything's good. Then we're going to weld it all. I'll check it again. And then I'll flip it over and we'll weld the whole bottom side. At that point, we'll be ready for the leg kit. table is all done now. I'm just going to review a few things. First of all, this is a testament to American-made ingenuity. Everything went together perfect. We had no issues with warping or anything like that. Everything was plumb and true and level throughout the whole process. And it was super easy. Like, I don't think we could have screwed this up if we wanted to. Tabletop, leg kit, everything, perfect. We got it all done. We painted the bottom side, put our new Wilton vise on it. And uh, we just kind of deburred everything, and for the last week we've been using it, and it's been awesome. So really happy. We can't really stress enough how great of quality this is. We've got a lot of their stuff here. You know, we even have their chassis jigs that we're building our cars on. The car behind us was built on their chassis jig. So really high quality stuff. Really happy with them. Uh, definitely recommend this to anyone. Huge shout out to weldtables.com. Uh, thanks for the great product. Mm -hmm.